Notepad++. And to start, we need a new file. Okay, so we are going to create a new file called we can save now this as save as and let's say search dot php okay so save that and let's start coding so to start I'm gonna build a simple HTML page so let's do all the tags here that we need and the body close body okay and inside the body we are going to create uh, a form okay so form method equals and in this case we are going to use the get method and action uh, action is where we want to to send the values uh, to process in uh, in the file where we will have a script to to process that and in this case uh, I'm going to show you how to process uh, the values that we send in uh, from the form in the same file okay so the script is going to be in the same file that is the form okay so this is the file search.php we will have a form here and in the same file um, at the end of the body I'm gonna show you how to put the script so the script itself uh, will run in the same file of the form okay so until now we did uh, the form in one file and then the form would post the values into other file where the script was to process those um, values uh, but in this file in this uh, video tutorial I'm going to show you how to do all in the same file okay why because I want to uh, echo the um, I want to echo the results uh, in uh, the same what the same page uh, where the form is okay but you'll see that uh, how it works uh, later on okay in the video so to start uh, let's type in the action so this the file search.php is where the form is and the action is the same file so let's type search.php okay so now you can close this and uh, here let's type an input input type equals text and here let's type a name and the name is going to be search okay and close that and now another input and the other input is going to be a submit button and the name of that is going to be submit as well and let's give it a value the value which is whatever uh, you want to appear in the button written is going to be let's type search database okay you can close that and here let's close the form okay so that's it let's save this let's open this and see um, how is presented uh, but before that go to links.php and in here I'm going to make a new link okay which is the link that we will t that uh, will take us to the page this page that we are building now the search.php so in here we have to type search.php uh, close that and let's type here search search user and in here we can close this let's save this 
and let's open this now in the browser make sure you have your uh, ZAMP uh, connected with your MySQL database and also start your Apache server and in here let's type localhost aside home there it is enter and you see we have a new entry here search a new link with uh, saying search user if I click that this is what we are building right now okay so we have an input a little input and a search button if I click that nothing happens okay uh, let's center this a little bit more so to do that let's put here after body and before form let's type here center and also after the form close center save this let's refresh and there it is beautiful okay so I'm gonna type here um, another thing which is after center in here let's type HR okay and HR is this line here okay so the results when we search something and I click here I want the results to appear uh, right away in here okay in the same page I don't want to be sent to another page I want the results to appear here like for example Google engine okay when it searches uh, the web so let's go and uh, start doing our PHP okay so to start doing the script in the same page we just have we only have to open uh, with the symbol with the PHP symbol okay and type PHP here and you can close it here okay so in here we'll go the script okay and you, you can put this uh, inside your body or uh, here outside the body it doesn't matter okay as long as it uh, is it um, is in the same page okay of, uh, in the same file okay search.php so let's process the values that uh, we have to type whatever values we type in here and to search our database so to start we have to type if and now we're gonna make an if statement saying uh, make sure that you pressed when you press the submit button which is this one you search uh, the database okay so you perform whatever um, whatever code you have to perform so we do that we make sure of that typing uh, if and inside the parenthesis we type is set is set means that you clicked or uh, the button uh, was clicked so is set the button and the button as you all know is the variable request and square brackets and here we have to type the name of the button which is submit okay submit perfect and now we open the here square uh, curly braces and cross curly braces and we can type here the else statement and in here else and in here we can type already something an echo saying let's say for example please type any word okay let's save this and let's make here this and that's it let's go up here and start doing the code inside the code that we want to uh, process okay if we click the button the submit button so here we need to give some va variables the first variable is going to be search and this search variable is going to be equal to the get global variable 
which is basically the same as the post that we, we already used um, but instead we're using get because the for method is get okay so this value whatever value we type in the box and the input box it will be sent or uh, by the get method the get variable so let's type here get and in here we type the name which is search right it's search so whatever we type we get that uh, value or those words whatever type whatever words we type uh, with the search variable okay so the next one is going to be terms equals and this is a new um, a new function uh, built in PHP that uh, we didn't talk about this before we didn't uh, used it before which is the explode function okay and this is a built-in function in PHP what it does is whatever we type in here okay so if I type let's say Victor and John and hello and yo okay uh, different words uh, the explode will take this as a sentence and will make an array with each word okay sep separately okay so it will make an array with Victor another word John another hello in yo okay and if we continue um, it will make an array with each and every uh, word we type even if we type a hundred words okay so this is mo very used in uh, search engines okay so explode and parent inside the parenthesis we type uh, where we want to separate the words so we want to separate them when we uh, give um, um, a space okay so we have to give it a space here between the double quotes comma and now we type the variable search in here okay so because this is uh, to, to the export function to know what uh, do we want to explode basically okay which is the um, the values of the get search the values that we put in here okay so the next variable is query equals and in here let's type the basic uh, select syntax from to choose uh, the values of the database which is select all this star symbol means all select all from the table users that we have in the database where and space and finish there okay uh, normally we put where name equals name variable name or something like that okay but we are gonna end this here okay just put the semicolon at the end and uh, let's go on in here you can type we're gonna do uh, for each statement okay and uh, in this for each statement we have to type before we type we, let's give it value of um, I equals zero okay and now let's do the for each but before I do that I just want to say guys that I'm running out of time in this video so this is going to be a two-part video and let's um, leave the rest for the second video okay so see you guys in the next video and um, see you guys later bye